Hello, Joe here from Infinity of Tacoma. I'm going to tell you about this beautiful 2022 Tesla Model 3. All right, so uh, let's get you a little educated on the Model 3 if you're looking for some more information. Uh, a lot of different versions of the Model 3, and the versions of the Model 3 have changed over the years. So originally when the uh, Model 3 came out in 2017, 2018, you had like the mid-range, then we saw the standard range and standard range plus, you had a long range, and then you had a performance model. Kind of gets a little bit confusing. Well, for 2022, Tesla kind of has streamlined their models. So uh, the entry level uh, Tesla is the Model 3, which is this one. So it's a Model 3 and it's a rear wheel drive. Um, they previously called this the Standard Range Plus in previous years. Now they just call it the Model 3. Uh, they did add some range uh, to 2022 and 2021 uh, fully charged range on a Model 3 Standard Range Plus was around 250 miles. Now for 2022, uh, the fully charged range on a Model 3, uh, you call it Standard Range or rear-wheel drive, but previously they called it the Standard Range Plus, but now it's just the Model 3. The range uh, fully charged is right around 270 miles. Uh, performance is still pretty good, 0 to 60, 5.8 seconds. Uh, top speed, I think it's close to 140 miles an hour. Um, it's one of the most fuel, uh, efficient, one of the uh, most technology advanced electric cars in the market. And it's not just electric cars. In my opinion, I think the Model 3 is probably one of the best uh, cars in the world. I've been in the car business a long time, 20 plus years. I've driven lots of cars. <laughs> and I'm really impressed by Teslas. That's why we have a good amount of, of Teslas in our used inventory and as a used car manager. Um, you know, I have to decide which cars to buy for the, the dealership, and since I like Teslas and we do well with pre on Teslas, I tend to get a good amount for our store. Alright, so 270 uh, mile range and fully charged. Uh, so the uh, next one up would be called the long range. The long range comes with all-wheel drive now. Previously, all-wheel drive was optional, so the all-wheel drive will have a motor in the front and the motor in the back, also known as a dual motor, and that has a fully charged range of about 350 miles. Uh, so that's kind of the differences, and of course you have the performance, which is the performance version of the Model 3. Um, but even though this is the lowest <laughs> the lowest uh, range of all the Teslas, 270 miles is actually still pretty good. If you uh, you know take Teslas out of the, the equation, you look at all the other car companies that offer electric vehicles, uh, a lot of their ranges on their base ones are close to 200 miles. So 270 miles is actually pretty good. It's actually, 270 miles is actually close to... Uh, the range of a lot of the top uh, tier, uh, you know, electric offerings from other car manufacturers. So, you know, Tesla is really good at uh, electric cars. They've been doing it before everyone else, pretty much. They've started making electric cars in 2008. Uh, so, you know, in my opinion, and a lot of other people's opinion, Tesla probably has a five to ten year head start on battery technology. They're also a vertically integrated company, so a lot of the uh, components they make in-house, where a lot of other manufacturers will uh, outsource parts to uh, part manufacturers, Tesla tries to do all, as much as they can in-house. So that means that Teslas generally have a, a good synergy. They uh, All the components tend to uh, come together a lot more efficiently, and uh, they're able to eke out more efficiency out of their vehicles than everyone else, it seems like. You know, uh, if you compare electric vehicle efficiency, uh, Tesla tends to lead the pack as far as efficiency goes. It's not necessarily how big your battery pack is, but it's how efficiently you can eke out as many miles from your battery pack. And uh, Tesla seems to have a really good, do a really good job doing that. Uh, you know, with the software they use, uh, a lot of tricks and weight saving features and power saving features uh, allow us to get that 250 mile range out of a vehicle like this. All right, I can go on and on about these Teslas, so I'll kind of, <laughs> I'll kind of uh, get the, get this video moving. I want to try to keep it under 10 minutes. So you have this nice interior, you have this big uh, Panamera glass panel. Uh, they started rolling out another thing on Teslas over the last couple of years called Tesla Glass, which is this uh, uh, double laminated glass that's uh, on the front windows. I also believe they put it on the windshield and in the, in the glass up here as well. So it's a laminated glass, so it's two pieces of glass and then it has a sound editing material sandwiched in between, making it very quiet. It's a lot quieter. If you drove a Model 3 without this new Tesla glass and then you got in this one, there would be a really noticeable difference on the quietness of the vehicles. Um, the majority of the functionality of this vehicle is handled in the screen right here. So they're constantly doing over their updates. We just uh, did an over update uh, not too long ago, about an hour ago. 
and uh, it's constantly getting better it's constantly improving it's constantly getting features with these over there updates a recent one that i like very much is they did an over there update and now you have blind spot cameras uh the tesla had cameras in their products and the model 3 since 2017 when it first came out but now they figured out uh, in 2022 uh if we put on the turn signal we figured out a way to put it make a blind spot camera not a lot of other car companies can do that i don't know actually if any other car company can do something like that besides tesla maybe you know some of the newer upstart but a lot of the major automotive companies the established ones i haven't seen them doing anything like that as far as over their updates go and then we have the tesla app which is quite amazing as well um you know with the tesla app you can control the charging you can um you can control the climate of the vehicle you can put the heated seats on you can heat the vehicle you can cool the vehicle cool the vehicle you can see where it's located you do all your over there updates you can buy upgrades you can schedule service it's amazing and then uh, also in 2021 they uh, uh they updated the interior of the model 3 so it's a little bit nicer you have this updated center console with this nice wireless charger that is a big help a big perk also for 2021 as well they added a power rear trunk so combined with all the updates in 2021 and the increased range in 2022 it is an awesome year to get into a tesla model 3 just like this one Since the floor is really flat, there's no transmission tunnels and uh, drive shafts like a regular car, so the floor is very flat, allowing for lots of interior space. So even someone like me who's six foot two, I'm pretty comfortable in the back seats. Also, the weight of the battery is so low, this has an extremely low center of gravity, making it uh, very hard to roll over. Pretty much the Model 3 has aced every uh, test and every category, every subcategory for the NHTSA's uh, crash test worth worthiness. Uh, it's one of the highest rated vehicles ever tested by the NHTSA. It excelled in every category. One of the lowest probability of injuries out of any vehicle on the road. Look at all the storage. Uh, these are the wheel covers. Um, some people like to look at the wheels without the wheel covers on, um, but uh, the wheel covers do actually uh, offer a little bit more efficiency. I think uh, you might get It's not a ton and maybe five or ten miles Extra range out of a charge with those wheel covers. It just makes the vehicle a little bit more streamlined So you have the extremely low center of gravity so that makes it safe uh, making it very low very hard to roll over But it also makes it very fun to drive because with that low center of gravity um, This thing handles like a sports car so it's one of the most efficient vehicles on the road. It's also one of the quickest. Uh, you'll find that uh, with electric power and instant torque, uh, you can quickly out accelerate a lot of people. A lot of people, even in performance cars, in uh, two-door sports cars, you'll find that uh, you'll quickly accelerate people. Not only just because you have that, uh, that you know, superior power and efficiency uh, from electric motor. You don't have any transmissions. There's no down shifting. There's no hesitation for the car to think about what you're doing when you mash the gas. It just happens instantly. Quite a different driving experience versus a gas car. It's uh, quite different. It's almost like, you know, <laughs> when you get in a Tesla Model 3 and then you get into a, like a 20 year old gas car, it's almost going from like a, the Star Trek Enterprise into like a Model T. It's really sometimes that stark of a difference. Uh, and that's why, you know, these Teslas are becoming popular. I'm sure every day you see more and more of these cars on the road. You see your neighbors, uh, you know, people living on your, your neighborhood and on your block and on your street. Uh, buying these Teslas and there's a good reason for it <laughs> They're quite amazing. I'm amazed by them. You know, I've been in the car business 20 plus years I thought I've seen it all but uh, all of a sudden these Teslas have come along and kind of gave me a little god smack I'm like wow uh, You know automotive breath of fresh air. We have a new cool product taking us into the uh, 21st century with electric power and uh, Tesla has really kind of shaken up the auto industry and all thanks to this lovely model 3 if you want to get to electric car ownership like I said, I think this is probably one of the best EVs in the road, and not just one of the best EVs in the road, one of the best cars in the road. Thanks for watching this video. Hope to see you soon, and have a wonderful day.